fists clenched and arms upraised to defend their rights and to call for change. This was the scene outside the headquarters of Tunisia's powerful UGTT union as droves of workers left their usual posts vacant this Thursday to take to the streets. The strike, the first called by the UGTT in four years, hopes to result in pay rises as well as concessions on what it calls painful economic reforms, which the government says are essential to access a much-needed IMF loan of $4 billion. While the UGTT maintains that this mass walkout is not political, the strike certainly comes at a time of growing strain between the union and President Kais Sayed. That's the man who controversially dismissed the government in July last year and then dissolved parliament this March. As opposition to his rule grows, officials have warned the strike will have a major impact on the country's economy. The word cancelled was flashed across the arrivals and departure boards at airports as international flights were left grounded. While metro and railway stations and public offices were all standing empty and shuttered. With the government saying the strikers' demands are unaffordable and with the union accusing the government of dithering, this is a standoff that looks likely to worsen.